In the heart of China's financial landscape, a transformation was underway, a financial revolution that would reshape the nation's economic destiny. Imagine a colossal financial institution rising from the ashes of its former self to become an unstoppable giant. This is the gripping tale of how the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, the ICBC, ascended to the zenith of the financial world. Journey with us through intrigue, innovation, and ambition as we uncover the secrets behind the meteoric rise of the largest bank in China, a narrative of power, perseverance, and the pulse of a nation's economic dreams. Buckle up as we unravel the captivating story of how ICBC made history emerging as the dragon of China's financial realm and in doing so, forever changing the global banking landscape. The Industrial and Commercial Bank of China ICBC, was established in 1984 as a state-owned commercial bank. It was the first commercial bank in China to be established after the country's economic reforms began in 1978. ICBC was created to support the development of China's rapidly growing economy and it quickly became one of the largest banks in the country. In its early years, ICBC faced a number of challenges. The Chinese banking system was still underdeveloped and there was a lack of experienced banking personnel. Additionally, ICBC had to compete with other state-owned banks, which were also receiving government support. Despite these challenges, ICBC was able to grow rapidly. By the end of 1988, ICBC had over 200 branches and over 100,000 employees. Today, ICBC is one of the largest banks in the world. It has over 16,000 branches and over 450,000 employees. ICBC provides a wide range of products and services to its customers, including corporate banking, retail banking, and investment banking. ICBC also has a significant presence in the international market with branches in over 50 countries. Industrial and Commercial Bank of China ICBC was founded in 1984 as part of China's economic reforms and opening up policies. The bank quickly adapted to the new economic environment, expanding its operations and services to meet the needs of Chinese businesses and consumers. One of the key ways that ICBC adapted to China's economic reforms was by expanding its international presence. The bank opened its first overseas branch in Hong Kong in 1985, and it has since expanded to over 50 countries and regions. ICBC's international presence has helped Chinese businesses to trade and invest overseas, and it has also helped to attract foreign investment to China. ICBC's role in facilitating foreign trade and investment has been significant. The bank provides a wide range of services to Chinese and foreign businesses, including trade finance, foreign exchange, and investment banking. ICBC also has a network of overseas branches and representative offices that can help businesses to navigate the complex regulatory environment of international trade and investment. ICBC's journey to becoming a publicly traded company began in 2005, when the Chinese government announced its intention to reform the country's state-owned banks. ICBC was one of the first banks to be selected for reform and it underwent a major restructuring process to improve its efficiency and profitability. In 2006, ICBC launched a dual listing on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange HKX, and the Shanghai Stock Exchange SSE. This was a historic event as it marked the first time that a major Chinese state-owned bank had listed on a foreign stock exchange. ICBC's dual listing was a huge success, raising over $21 billion. The IPO was also a major boost for the HKX and the SSE as it helped to attract more foreign investment to the Chinese stock markets. The dual listing had a significant impact on ICBC's growth and global recognition. The IPO gave the bank access to new capital markets and allowed it to raise funds to support its international expansion. ICBC's listing on the HKEX also helped to raise its profile among global investors and businesses. There are several reasons why ICBC has prioritized branch network expansion. First, China is a large and diverse country with a wide range of economic development levels. In the past, many rural and remote areas of China were underserved by banks. ICBC's branch network expansion has helped to address this problem by providing financial services to people in all parts of the country. Second, ICBC's branch network expansion has helped the bank to reach a wider range of customers. In addition to traditional retail banking services, ICBC also offers corporate banking, investment banking, and other financial services. 
By expanding its branch network, ICBC has been able to make its services more accessible to a wider range of businesses and individuals. Third, ICBC's branch network expansion has helped the bank to build stronger relationships with its customers. By having a physical presence in communities across China, ICBC is able to better understand the needs of its customers and provide them with more personalized service. This has helped the bank to build a loyal customer base. Overall, ICBC's strategy of rapidly expanding its branch network has been a success. The bank has been able to reach underserved regions, gain a massive customer base, and become one of the most profitable banks in the world. ICBC has invested heavily in fintech, developing new products and services that are more convenient, efficient, and secure for customers. For example, ICBC has launched a mobile app that allows customers to perform a wide range of banking transactions, including checking account balances, transferring funds, and paying bills. The app also includes features such as facial recognition and fingerprint authentication for added security. ICBC has made mobile banking a central part of its strategy. The bank's mobile app is one of the most popular banking apps in China, with over 400 million active users. The app offers a wide range of features, including account management, bill payments, investments, and loans. ICBC has also made significant investments in mobile security. The bank uses a variety of security measures to protect customer data, including encryption, two-factor authentication, and fraud detection. Overall, ICBC's fintech, mobile banking, and online services have had a significant impact on the bank's customer experience and operational efficiency. The bank has been able to provide customers with more convenient, efficient, and secure ways to access banking services while also reducing costs and improving operational efficiency. ICBC has opened branches in major financial centers around the world, including New York, London, Tokyo, Singapore, and Sydney. This gives ICBC a strong foothold in these markets and allows it to provide its services to a global customer base. ICBC has also acquired stakes in foreign banks, such as Bank of East Asia, BEA, and Standard Bank of South Africa. This gives ICBC access to the existing customer base and infrastructure of these banks and allows it to expand its reach into new markets. ICBC has also established joint ventures with foreign banks such as BNP Paribas and HSBC. This allows ICBC to combine its expertise with that of its partners to create new products and services for its customers. In addition to these strategies, ICBC has also invested heavily in its overseas infrastructure and technology. This has allowed the bank to provide its customers with a seamless and integrated banking experience, regardless of where they are located in the world. ICBC, the world's largest bank by assets, demonstrated remarkable resilience during the global financial crisis of 2008 and other economic downturns. ICBC entered the 2008 financial crisis with a strong capital base, low leverage, and a healthy balance sheet. This gave the bank the financial strength to withstand the shock of the crisis and continue lending to its customers. ICBC has a diversified business model with operations across a wide range of segments, including retail banking, corporate banking, and investment banking. This diversification helped the bank to mitigate the impact of the crisis on any one segment of its business. ICBC is a state-owned enterprise and benefits from the support of the Chinese government. This support was particularly important during the 2008 financial crisis, when the government provided a number of stimulus measures to support the Chinese economy. Specifically, ICBC navigated the challenges of the 2008 financial crisis by maintaining a prudent lending policy, strengthening its risk management framework, and raising capital. ICBC's resilience during economic downturns is a testament to the strength of the bank's business model and its commitment to its customers. The bank's experience has shown that it is well-positioned to weather even the most challenging economic conditions. Industrial and Commercial Bank of China ICBC, is the largest bank in China and in the world by total assets. It is one of the big four state-owned commercial banks in China, along with China Construction Bank, Bank of China, and Agricultural Bank of China. ICBC was founded in 1984 and is headquartered in Beijing. ICBC is a major player in China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI. The BRI is a massive infrastructure development and trade initiative launched by the Chinese government in 2013. 
ICBC has provided financing for BRI projects in over 60 countries and regions. ICBC plans to continue to grow its domestic and international business. The bank is focusing on the following key areas such as digital transformation, global expansion, and financial services innovation. ICBC plans to continue to expand its international presence in the coming years. The bank is focusing on the following key areas, opening new branches, acquiring existing banks, and developing its business in emerging markets. ICBC's continued global expansion will help the bank to grow its business and become more competitive. The bank's international presence will also give it access to new markets and customers. Everyone wants to feel like a king, and that's exactly what RM Kings provides. Our collection features handcrafted RM Kings pendants made with the finest, precious, and standard metals such as gold, silver, and brass, with overall attention to detail. From chains to earrings to bracelets, our pieces are designed to enhance your aura and make you feel like exactly that, a king. So why wait? Treat yourself to a piece of jewelry that's as superlative and unique as you are. Shop our Arm Kings collection today and join the army of kings who have already discovered their throne. Become a modern Egyptian king, one piece at a time.